There have been a lot of laws mandating drug testing that have been popping up all over the U.S. Uh, in modern times, and it all started with a government program to test returning Vietnam War veterans uh, from Ronald Reagan. This all started under him, and then it's progressively gotten worse as the years have gone by. Now, Ronald Reagan's bill was called the Drug-Free Workplace Act, and one of the provisions in that bill was drug testing returning Vietnam War veterans. Then after that, a whole new industry broke out. It was the drug testing industry. One of the companies, uh, actually the first company to break into this field was Hoffman LaRoche. And they're, they established major drug testing labs all around America. And they were able to win an early urine testing contract from the Pentagon. And that led to $300 million in annual sales for their company in the year 1987. So it was tremendously profitable for them. The following year, Roach began lobbying Congress to get mandatory drug testing for every single job in the United States. Now, what ended up happening is that once they got that original contract, they opened up a lobbying firm, a lobbying arm, which would then try to lobby the politicians to pass more laws that would get them more business. So they hired a New Jersey-based lawyer named David Evans, and they organized workshops around the country to convince employers to set up drug testing programs. And uh, during that first campaign, there was a thousand employers that signed up. By 2006, 84 percent of American employers were reporting that they drug tested their workers. And today, drug testing is a multi-billion dollar a year industry. Now there's a coalition of dr drug testing companies that are lobbying Congress. So now it's more than just one. It's a whole bunch of them. And the coalition is called DATIA, the Drug and Alcohol Testing Industry Association. They represent more than 1,200 companies, and they employ a DC-based lobbying firm. So they're very, very big on throwing money at the politicians to try to get favors. And the favors that they get is laws that are passed that would give them more business and would allow them to drug test more people. So now the firms are pushing laws to drug test people that are receiving public assistance. So let's say, hypothetically, uh, you end up losing your job, God forbid, and then uh, you, next thing you know, the, your state could pass a law that says, well, if you're on unemployment, you got to get drug tested. Sorry. Now, that's obviously a gross violation of right to privacy, and that's also an unreasonable search. But who cares about the Constitution, Constitution, Constitution? money rules the day, and uh, we mandate you have to do it, so you have to take a piss test for taking unemployment. So, as if that's not enough, in South Carolina in 2012, with unemployment still above 9%, state legisla legislators pushed three different bills to drug test not just people receiving unemployment insurance, the unemployed. Stop and think about how fucking mad that is. You're going to drug test every single unemployed person? even if they're not on unemployment, for what? And of course, I'm asking a loaded question. The answer is, they just want to drug test as many people as possible because they make more money when they do that. And if they have a, a mandate from the government that they're supposed to do that, well, you're going to make a hell of a lot of money, aren't you? So let's understand this. They want to drug test you when you get employed. That's Again, 84% was the number in 2006. It's gone up since then. But they want to drug test you when you're employed. They want to drug test you when you're unemployed. And they want to drug test you when you're on public assistance. Okay, maybe I'm missing something, but that's everybody. Whether you're unemployed, employed, or on public assistance. That covers the entire United States of America. All 307 million of us. This is fucking crazy. And um, the irony, of course, of all this is that the people who are pushing these bills... <laughs> they're so-called small government conservatives. Yes, they're so in favor of small government that they want us to live in a police state where they can test what's in our body at all times. Now do you see why money corrupting our politics is a problem? As if you didn't already know. 